Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Continuity of a function. How we check continuity of a function? What is the definition of continuity at a point? All these things we will discuss in this class. Remember, it is important to know the concept of limit of a function especially you please watch class 1 video that is concept of limit of a function which helps you a lot to understand continuity of a function in this class i'll discuss general general things about continuity now you observe the first function what is first function it is a modulus function is f of x is continuous observe this modulus function is f of x is continuous if i ask like this how you will answer to my question okay now you observe the graph of modulus function is there any gap in its graph no there is no gap in its graph so we can say that f of x is a continuous function in general words remember i am saying this is general words without lifting the pen if you can draw the graph then also we can say that the function is continuous function if there is no gap in its graph then we say that function is continuous function now come to the second graph you observe this second graph is f of x is continuous what is f of x f of x is x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 the graph of f of x looks like this now my question is is f of x is continuous how to answer this question we observe the graph we will see that in its graph is there any gap yes you please observe in this area there is a gap at x equals to 2 there is a gap why because you observe the f of x in place of x if we write 2 this function is not defined that's why there is a gap at x equals to 2 is this f of x is continuous or not no it is not continuous because there is a gap in its graph see first graph you observe f of x is modulus x is it continuous is there any gap in its graph no gap so we say that it is continuous now you observe this second function is there any gap in its graph yes gap is there as there is a gap in its graph we say that f of x is discontinuous see this is the general talk we are discussing we are not discussing it's a continuous on its domain or not last point i'll discuss the function is continuous on its domain or not general discussion this is general discussion okay please remember this this is general discussion second point how to check the continuity at a particular point to check the continuity at x equals to a you observe the neighborhood of a you observe only this area you please observe in the neighborhood of a in the neighborhood of a you observe the graph of modulus function is there any gap is there any gap in the neighborhood of a no so we say that the function is continuous at x equals to a you observe the second graph how to check the continuity at x equals to 2 if you observe the graph of the function in the neighborhood of 2 there is a gap is there or not yes there is a gap in the neighborhood of 2 in its graph so what we say we say that it is discontinuous at x equals to 2 third point limit extends to a f of x equals to f of a then we say that function is continuous at x equals to a you please observe only this part limit extends to a f of x limit extends to a f of x exist what it mean as x approaches to a from left and right where f of x is approaching that information only comes from limit extends to a f of x so limit extends to a f of x equals to f of a then we say that function is continuous at x equals to a this you can understand more clearly in second graph as per the definition limit extends to 2 f of x equals to f of 2 then we say that function is continuous at x equals to 2 as we discussed in the previous graph limit extends to 2 f of x exist what it tells it gives the information that when x approaches to 2 from left and right where the function function f of x is approaching limit extends to 2 f of x is 4 means when x approaches to 2 from left and right the function f of x is approaching to 4 only that much information only we will get limit extends to 2 f of x is 4 means as x approaches to 2 from left and right
right the function is approaching to 4 from left and right now you come to this f of 2 f of 2 what is f of 2 observe the function f of x is what x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 what is f of 2 if we write x equals to 2 in the denominator you observe denominator 2 minus 2 is 0 f of 2 is defined or not defined f of 2 is not defined f of 2 is not defined this is the best example to understand the continuity limit extends to 2 f of x exists and it is 4 here f of 2 in this function f of 2 is not defined so what happened limit exists but f of 2 is not defined what we say we say that the function is discontinuous at x equals to 2 now we will take some more points in its graph and we will discuss the continuity at x equals to 0 you observe the first function at x equals to 0 the function function is continuous or discontinuous how we will check the continuity at x equals to 0 is a general discussion from the graph at x equals to 0 in the neighborhood of 0 we will observe the graph is there any gap in its graph in the neighborhood of 0 no so it is continuous at x equals to 0 now for the second graph also we observe the continuity at x equals to 0 this is x equals to 0 how to check the continuity at x equals to 0 in the neighborhood of 0 in its graph is there any gap you please observe this is the neighborhood of 0 in its graph is there any gap in the neighborhood of 0 there is no gap in its graph in the neighborhood of 0 so this function is continuous at x equals to 0 even though it is discontinuous at x equals to 2 it is continuous at x equals to 0 now the most important point continuity is meaningful to discuss in its domain I repeat this point continuity is meaningful to discuss in its domain domain of modulus function is all real numbers so if you observe the graph on the set of all real numbers is there any gap there is no gap in modulus function so modulus function is continuous everywhere what is the domain of the given function is it set of all real numbers you observe the function f of x no this function is not defined for x equals to 2 if you write x equals to 2 in the denominator we will get 0 this function is not defined at x equals to 2 so what is the domain of this function domain of this function is all real numbers except 2 I am repeating this point continuity is meaningful to discuss in its domain you observe this function is discontinuous I said actually this is wrong continuity is meaningful to discuss in its domain in its domain 2 is not there in this function domain 2 is not there so we don't check the continuity at x equals to 2 if the domain of the function is all real numbers clearly this is discontinuous as the domain of the function is all real numbers except 2 this function is continuous function the second function is continuous function I repeat continuity is meaningful to discuss in its domain in the second graph 2 is not there in its domain so that this function is continuous function the second graph if I ask you to discuss its continuity on set of all real numbers then we say that it is discontinuous only but if the domain of the function is all real numbers except 2 this second function is continuous function in next class I'll take two more graphs and we will discuss the same points so that you will get more more clarity about continuity of a function I hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button below share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thanks for watching bye bye